fabulous liftoff for the first Sunday were at Headingley, where Leeds take on Warrington, who've not won here for five years. And Headingley launches hundreds of blue and yellow balloons to launch their Super League season here at Headingley. And here are the teams who will play today. Leeds have got Anthony Gibbons at fullback. The three-quarter line is Fallon, Iro, Hassan and Gledhill on his debut. Cummins and Holroyd the halves. Up front, it's Harmon the captain, Shaw and Howard, Mann and Schultz with Adrian Morley at loose forward. Leeds hit by injury. On the bench, John Riley, Marcus Vasilakopoulos, Barry McDermott and Nick Fozard. The coach is Dean Bell. Headingley. Plenty of fun and uh, entertainment at Headingley before the kickoff, and they've come here to see the match against Warrington. Warrington today playing in the traditional 1 to 13 jerseys. For some reason, they haven't managed to get their Super League squad numbers ready for the big kickoff. A black mark. Lee Penny at fullback. Foster, Rudd, Finau, and Maffey the three quarters. Harris and Ford the halves. Up front, it's Hilton, Hoff, and Chambers. Not and Cullen the captain with Sculthorpe at loose forward. And on the bench, Toa Koe Love, he will make his debut, the former junior Kiwi. Jones, Shelford and Michael Wainwright. The coach, of course, John Dorohy. Still a fairly inexperienced side that the Leeds coach, Dean Bell, has had to put out today because of injuries. And of course, because there are several players missing from the centenary season last year. Craig Innes is gone, so has Schofield. Paul Cook, James Lowe's. But Jim Fallon is still here, and the first touch of the football for this Leeds outfit. The biggest problem that Leeds have had over the past season, their inability for the forwards to take control, really create a platform for the three quarters, and that's a bad mistake. They've dropped the ball, Cullen has picked up the pieces. This is Sculthorpe again. Well, was it taken out? Perhaps it was helped out with a hand in there. Hoff is a dummy half. Mike Ford's looking for the ball, but they elect instead to go to Paul Sculthorpe. Warrington trying to work the blind side. But the leader's defence is pretty solid at the moment. Little chip over the top from Ford, collected by Yestin Harris. Out the back door to Cullen. And there is chances here, because this is Finau. Finau, the ball goes to ground, but Ford's able to keep the momentum going he gets the ball to Hilton and Hilton goes for the line and drops it great trembling defense though by Leeds it was a super run from Lee Penny quick play the ball and Leeds could be in trouble defensively here on oh, Ford and Harris just not quite reading themselves but he gave the penalty Russell Smith for offside and wanted to take it quickly Foster it had to be a good tackle from Cummins as was. This now is Ford. Another great tackle from Francis Cummins. Harris now for Warrington. Finds Cullen. Switches the direction to Lee Penny, but he was well watched by Matt Schultz. Harris now. Long pass into the arms of Chris Rudd. Rudd dabs the ball forward. It's a race. And Gledhill was there. And the youngster decided to take no chances whatsoever. Inventive play by Warrington, applying the pressure. But equal to the task of the youngster, Gledhill. Well, it took a while for this game to explode. But both sides realizing the importance of making those hard, strong busts with the forwards. It was good thinking by Mike Ford, who made an awful mistake. But referee Russell Smith had given the penalty for offside. He was quick to get on with the game, and it caught Leeds napping. This is Lee Penny. He launches another Warrington attack. Cut down by Howard and little Mick Shaw. This is Mark Hilton. They have great hopes, I know, at Warrington this season about Hilton and Chambers, the two props. Here's Ford. Harris, Ford takes over. Looks for the runner. The runner was Cullen. The tackle again by Cummins. The flop. Well, that silly play there. Harvey Howard. Leeds had done all the hard work. Cummings once again in attendance. It was a beautiful tackle. 
there's just no reason why a player should come in like that. So, Yestin Harris. Warrington's goal kicker now that Jonathan Davis has departed. From the penalty, he gives Warrington the lead. Two points to nil, courtesy of the boot of Yestin Harris. Mark Hilton now taking Warrington into the midpoint of the Leeds half. Chambers will carry it through. John Huff's in there at dummy half. Now Mike Ford, and he finds Yestin Harris. Bit of space, and good quick hands to Maffey. Maffey for the corner. Oh, it's a blinding drive. It's given. He dives. And what does the referee and touch judge and in-goal judge say? Try. It was a real, real dive from Maffey. He took the gamble. He could have been hit in midair and pushed out. But he went for the dive and got the four. Got away with it well. Beautiful play, though, by Yistin Harris. Went in and out to the man. Got the ball away and a beautiful pass by the centre final. And Maffey launches. Well... That was a very close call. He would have been done better to have just gone low and rather than make it spectacular. Look at that beautiful pass there by the centre Finau. And he should have just gone low. I'm not so sure that that on many occasions would have been given a no try. Let's see on the impact. Do the legs take out the flag? They do before he actually gets the arm to the ground. That very well could have been disallowed. Let's not forget that we do have the advantage of the slow motion replay. The officials do not. But they do on a Friday and Saturday night on the live games on Sky Sports. But not today. Just short. Yestin Harris with the conversion attempt. But it's McDermott's opportunity now to catch Dean Bell's attention. Well, a big message that's got to get out of this lead side is that the runs from dummy half from Mick Shaw is making vital ground, but they've got to go with him. It's a waste of time. Gone through on three occasions. Lovely run from Mike Ford. Someone's flattened a lead player in the background. And it's Matt Schultz who's down. Oh, and he's really groggy. He's trying desperately to get back into the defensive line as Cummins comes in with the tackle on Hilton. He now is... Mike Wainwright, he gets the pass away to Yestin Harris, a lovely jinking run from Harris, he's still going, oh that's a breathtaking try, Yestin Harris, a superb try, he took the entire defence on and he wrong footed them completely, super try from Yestin Harris. Tremendous work, first of all by the substitute Mike Wainwright, isn't it great to see this youngster back after a bad injury? Kept the ball alive, but this is silky skill stuff. Look at that. In and out, there was nothing that Cummins could do. That is sheer quality. Beautiful play. Good work on this occasion by Wainwright. And look how he turns the defense in and out. Oh, great to watch. Gibbons, no way out. That is one sensational try. Well, the departed former Warrington assistant coach Clive Griffiths likens this fellow to Jonathan Davis. And that had all the hallmarks of Jonathan Davis, that try from Yestin Harris, the Welsh international. So it's a 10-0 lead. Harris with the try. This to make the lead 12 points. And 12 points it is. Yestin Harris restarts then, and Warrington have a 12 points to nil lead. And Adrian Morley with a good drive downfield. Leads with something to do now. Their supporters will be getting a little impatient. Max Schultz has gone off because of the injury he received, replaced by Nick Pozard. And Leeds have coughed the possession up again to Warrington. Iroh going over the shoulder. Warrington making a couple of changes as well. Mark Jones and Mike Wainwright are on. Well, once again, we've seen Leeds make the bus. 
and then just fritter it away, throw it away there. And Iroh should have kept possession. And I think that someone's in the spot of bother here, Nick Fozard. Sure is. Oh, he just launched himself there. To be fair, I think the impact did go on the shoulders, but it was a way that he, he sort of just stepped back and then swung the arm. Didn't look pretty. The penalty then for Warrington. And Harris with the chance here to stretch the lead again. Taking his time, getting the sights set. Flags go up. Another two points for Warrington. The Leeds player. Now then, what can they do, Leeds, now? They really have to roll the sleeves up, get some work done. McDermott's doing just that. That's a much better run. Shaw to Cummins. And out wide, it's Morley. The referee has got Warrington offside. Didn't go back. And it was uh, a bit high from Paul Cullen. See that? Didn't miss, did he? he? Had the choice, referee Russell Smith. Decided offside was sufficient. But it's desperate now that Leeds have to get points on the board. Well, the supporters getting a touch impatient. They would love to see them get across the whitewash for their first Super League try. They're 10 metres short of the line now. This could be the moment. As Cummins switches the direction of the attack. Holroyd goes back the other way. And Adrian Morley is halted. This is George Mann from dummy half. Long pass out to Iro. Iro with the strength, and Iro is in. That's what they wanted. The sleeping giant awakes, and boy, did they need that lead. Long ball out wide. They did the crisscross move. It wasn't effective, but the long ball. George Mann finds the Kiwi. And that's just what the doctor ordered at a time where Warrington were controlling this game. Well taken there by the big centre. And the beast, that's his nickname. Boy, they needed that. Good long ball by man. He used the referee well. You could see he was heading in the same direction as the referee, Russell Smith. It was enough to get the defence sucked in. And that man to complete. Kevin Iro, the New Zealand international, coming into this match really with a, a point to prove after Leeds went out of the Challenge Cup in the semi-final. Graham Holroyd now with the conversion attempt. And that's a great kick. Here's Hilton. Referee trying to push Leeds back to their own try line, defending this run from Mark Jones. Wouldn't surprise me if Warrington go for the one point. They're looking for four at the moment with Sculthorpe, who somehow managed to hold on to that ball. It was round his hip. Ford. Good little scampering run from Ford, but stopped by George Mann. Harris is shouting for it. He's got it. And Harris... Dabs it through, goes for the chase. Now then, there's a decision. The in-goal judge says no try. Harris is celebrating. He got his hand to it, but he never forced it down. It was a good kick through, but what on earth were Leeds doing there? They allowed Justin Harris to get close, and Gibbons took all the time in the world. He should have knocked that ball dead. Good decision by the in-goal judge. I'd rather fancy on a Friday and Saturday night we would now have had at least two calls for the big screen. I don't think so. I think the referee saw that as well, that he lost control. I know he asked the in-goal judge. And he was a bit far behind the play, Russell Smith. He left it to the in-goal judge. Now Cummins. They're looking for another try lead up to half-time. Morley. Did he lose that ball? He did. The tackle was completed, says referee Russell Smith, before the ball came out, so it's a knock on the decision. Warrington were preparing to launch another attack. Well, they've lost it again. You can see that Morley was trying to flick the ball out. 
just panic football. You really need someone out there, Leeds, to just control things. Of course, they've lost the services now of that experienced player, Gary Schofield. And I just get the impression, Eddie, that uh, they could really do with a man like that out on the Leeds outfit now. Yes, they need a playmaker, don't they? They sure do. Here's Ford. Wainwright was tackled, but too high. Sonny McDermott. Not pleasing the referee, Russell Smith, who is not pleasing the Leeds crowd. But what can you do when you see tackles like that? Yep. So Yestin Harris with this penalty to give Warrington a 10-point advantage as we approach half-time. And he judged it perfectly. Swung it in on the breeze. Yes, they're losing uh, Schofield would not help. They definitely need a leader out there. But that's good defence, though, from Warrington. They haven't given them a lot of room to move. But they just don't change their tactics. The continual dummy runner and then the ball behind the man certainly isn't fooling this uh, Warrington defence as yet. The kick over the top from the hooker Mick Shaw. Mark Forster has to retreat to within 10 metres of his own line. And now Maffey taking on Fallon on the outside. Gets through Fallon. Gets up off his knees and keeps going. He's quite a handful. Matiaki Maffey, the Tongan, plays the ball now to Ford. Here's Celesi Finau. And Ford again in centre field. Mark Jones. Skullthorpe injects pace, goes through the gap. Lovely run. Support there from Knott. And Ian Knott is going to score here for Warrington, who has just come on the field for Paul Cullen. He's only been on the field a matter of seconds, Ian Knott. And the man who made his debut as a substitute against Leeds in August comes up with a try. Beautiful work from Skullthorpe. Came on to the ball at speed. Look how he just swung in and out. Good support by, by Ian Knott. But the Leeds defence just held off and it was enough for the man. The delayed pass from the hooker was enough. As soon as he got the ball, he stepped off the right, then on the left. Beautiful swerve. This youngster is all talent, and so is this kid here. Ian Knott. Tremendous try. We talk about running under the football. This is something that Leeds have failed to do. And Paul Skullthorpe really caught one for his corner when he was releasing that football. Looks a bit groggy. Yes, put it down to... Paul Skullforth, brilliance, but it was Ian Knott with the try. Another who has come up through the Warrington's nursery. Justin Harris, bang in front after that try. Another two valuable points on offer here. And another two valuable points gratefully accepted. 22 points to six now. Warrington lead. Shaw the dummy half. Here's Holroyd. Long pass to Cummins. Francis Cummins through a gap. Cummins with the pace. Good tackle. Ball back inside, and they've thrown the chance away. It was a tremendous tackle, but Phil Hassan, well, he just gave possession to Warrington. How many times have we seen that? It was great work by Francis Cummins, but the chance is here. Now Leeds have got the ball back in its man. They took a huge dummy. Warrington closed the door and then opened it again and put the welcome mat down. George Mann. His first try in Super League. A little dummy to the left. The entire defence went for it. And Mann simply strolled in. Mistakes are plenty. First of all, it came from Leeds. It was a wonderful break by Francis Cummins. And then the mistake by Hassan. This really should have been rewarded with a try. Hassan did well to keep out of touch, but desperation there. He passed it to no one. No support play. And then when Warrington looked as though they were going to sweep it around, they came up with a mistake. Oh, dearly me. But it was a good dummy. George Mann would have enjoyed that. 
there's still plenty of time if they can really shake themselves up George Mann with the try then playing in his more accustomed position in the second row today after his semi-final appearance at standoff and that was a dummy in a try that a standoff would have been proud of the conversion from Holroyd was successful so leads back in the hunt and suddenly the lead supporters begin to find their voice Holroyd Iro Iro with one hand standing again looking to see where the support is Iro looking again no support where was it they were just stood still Gledhill Paul Gledhill just about half a meter short well I can't believe that they were standing around like cones on the M62 move forward they are now with Cummins out wide it goes this is a lovely run from Morley gets the pass away to Shaw support is there that's Gibbons out wide it comes to Neil Harmon here's Iro again Iro now that he's in touch no try Gledhill thought he crowned his debut with a try and the touch judge had the flag up little doubt that he was in touch but good play though by Leeds it started off with a good run from Morley good tackle in the end from Chris Rudd here's Iro and this fellow on his day can be a real match winner he has the speed and the strength interference at the play of the ball Russell Smith says get on with it George Mann the crowd are lifted and the players are Mick Shaw off he goes again terrific run no one with him in support now there is and it's Gibbons full back has chimed into the line Shaw again Howard from a standing start back to Shaw Gibbons again the call was from Mann Mann inside to Schultz Schultz sees a gap beg his pardon it was Morley this is Gibbons out wide is Mann who couldn't hang on to it Bin for Mark Jones Shelford round the corner he finds Wainwright this surely will be a bomb last tackle Skullthorpe chips it through goes down in a heap referee Russell Smith says play on and Anthony Gibbons will take them off from full back to well into the Warriors in half a super run from Gibbons over the top is Iro. Iro cuts in field stops comes back again no one in support once more but a sensational run from Anthony Gibbons here's Holroyd just two tackles gone Shaw in at dummy half Neil Harmon the captain Warrington's defense being tested now Holroyd Cummins straight at those Warrington posts Penny hauls him down Fallon the dummy half Gibbons who started all this mayhem again no one there the ball comes back Fallon picks up the bits that's back to zero in the tackle count Leeds have six more tackles here to get over the line and Warrington is stretched out wide still going he's in Nick Buzzard will score. Well, that's been coming for a while. Ever since Mark Jones went to the sin bin, Leeds have been very much on top, and they're really back in it now. Beautiful break ball from Gibbons. The fullback really did put the pace on. That was great skills, palming the man off. Lee Penny was nowhere to be seen after that. I thought that Iro had taken the wrong option by coming back to the blind. But good work from Leeds. They kept the ball alive. Long ball out wide. I thought for a moment there that the substitute Nick Bozard had blown it. He had Hassan out wide. It would have been an easier option. It didn't matter. His strength got him there in the end. Super stuff. 
It all came about by good effort by the fullback. And suddenly Leeds have decided to run with the football, support the man. The strength got him there, and the youngster, youngster has every right to be happy. Holroyd then with the conversion attempt. Gets the extra two. Dean Bell looking a bit happier now. The gap just four points. For the acting captain now saying, come on, let's just take it nice and steady. Vasilikopoulos feeds that scrum, finds Cummins, finds Iro, Hassan out wide to Fallon. Fallon's taking him on out wide, tosses the ball back inside before he goes over the touchline. Good play by Fallon, just got it inside at the right moment. Cummins to Vasilikopoulos, another 10,000 crowd at Headingley for the start of the Super League. And they've been richly entertained, particularly in this second half. He's got him for a shepherd. The Silicopolis there. Using through, but you can see that uh, there's a knee goes in there. And goes in pretty hard. Accidental, perhaps. Spins around. And he used Fozard. And the knee certainly went in. Well... The weird one. The referees penalise Leeds for the obstruction. And Warrington have the penalty. And if Harris kicks this, it could be the ball game for Warrington. This is a vital kick. Yeston Harris, five out of six. He's kicked well all day. This could mean the difference between victory and defeat. We've still got plenty to play for. Because that means that he wasn't going to give the football deep into the corner and perhaps for Leeds to get a roll on. Scott wasn't in the back of the pack. He was coming from behind the referee to take his place in the scrum. He wants it reformed, so it is. And this is last chance now for Leeds. It was nearly thrown away as well. It wasn't the best pass. Cummins did exceptionally well to take that. Oh, the standing round over there, almost having a meeting. Inventive play to Shaw. Here's Anthony Gibbons. Here's Phil Hassan. Good tackle, Maffey. Shaw again. Vasilikopoulos. Cummins, man. Iro takes it one handed. Iro leads the charge. There's the siren. Warrington have won. And the European Super League campaign of John Dorohy gets off to a flying start at Headingley. They were skating on thin ice for a while. But Yestin Harris, with his try and goal kicking, he has led. Warrington to victory. 22 points to 18. A good start for John Dorohy back in the Stones European Super League. 